The adverse effects of climate change, disasters, and the environmental deg degradation on the ocean led to losses and damages to communities and societies all over the world, and they also affect mobility patterns. In 2021 alone, cyclones and storms accounted for 11.5 million new internal displacements worldwide. Those who do not have the basic means to move, such as the elderly, the disabled, and other vulnerable groups, remain trapped. Low-lying coastal areas and small islands are of particular concern, as many large coastal agglomerations are exposed to submersion and flooding. With 680 million people living in low-lying coastal areas, human security is indeed a concern. Sea level rise, ocean acidification, loss and degradation of marine biodiversity and ecosystems aggravate the vulnerability of coastal communities, who are dependent on marine resources and ecosystems. As a last resort, some coastal and insular states had to take forward planned relocation of impacted coastal communities. Regular migration pathways can allow communities to counter such impacts and have access to safe environments and alternative livelihoods. The skills and knowledge of migrant workers can fill key labor market needs in the transition to a blue economy. At the occasion of the United Nations Conference on Oceans, I want to remind us all that the people-centered approach is therefore essential. To save our ocean and protect our future, we need to implement SDG 14 on life underwater and take global ocean action and we need to do it with migrants and communities and for their benefit.